Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you where all 9 secret bosses can be found in Rise of the Ronin. Now if you didn't know, there are a total of 9 secret bosses spanning throughout the 3 regions in Rise of the Ronin. I'm going to show you where all 9 of them are and all their rewards. So the 3 secret bosses that you're going to find in Yokohama is the Martial Air, the Expelled Student and the Fugitive. In Edo, you will find the Blue-Eyed Samurai, the Dazzling Devil, and the Sword-Wielding Felon. And then in Kyoto, you will find the Unarmed Adept, the Bloodthirsty Villain, and the Spiritual Ninja. So the first secret boss that I'm going to show you is the Martial Air, which can be found in the Yokohama region. And this is what the arm set looks like. Once you're in the Yokohama region, you want to travel all the way to the Maita area, and you want to come to this location right here marked on the map. As you can see on the map, there's going to be like a black dot right over here. This is the entrance to where the secret boss can be found. So once you're in this location, you'll see that there is going to be trees with the ribbons on them as usual indicating that the secret boss is somewhere close by once you get to this almost tree by this hole this is where the secret boss is going to be found so you can proceed down the hole once you proceed down the hole you'll be greeted by the secret boss immediately so you can go ahead and take out the boss once you defeat the boss you can head to the back of the cave where there'll be these barrels that you'll need to shoot so you can go ahead and shoot them and you'll see that to the right of you in the corner should be the extra treasure chest so that you can get your bonus rewards. So from completing the secret boss fight against the Martial A, you would have obtained the White Brigade Ujigatana, the Warrior's Headband, the Rebel's Garb, the Martial Artist's Gauntlets, and the Samurai Skaters. So the next secret boss that I'm going to show you is the Expelled Student, which can also only be found in the Yokohama region. And this is what the armor set looks like. Once you're in the Yokohama region, you will need to travel to the Shibu area, which is this area right over here. Once you're here, you're going to see in the top corner next to this photography collectible, there is going to be a black dot. Now this is going to be the entrance to the expelled student secret boss. So you can just mark it there and I'll show you that once you are in this location where the marker is, you'll see that the ribbon trees are surrounding the area, indicating to us that the secret boss is right here. So you'll see that once you get to this marker, the entrance to the secret boss will be down here, and you can go ahead and go down. Once you are down in the cave, you'll see that the secret boss is standing there next to some books, so you can go ahead and take him out. So once you defeat the secret boss, you're going to head to the back of the cave right over here. You'll need either your fire bow or the rifle in order to blow up these barrels. Once you get through, you should see the extra chest and you can go ahead and open it up for some nice bonus rewards. So if we look at all the equipment that you would have obtained from defeating the secret boss, you would have the black bayonet, the hunter's cap, the student's kimono, the leather gauntlets and the leather footwear. Now the next secret boss that I'm going to show you is the fugitive which can only be found in the Yokohama region and here is what the arm set looks like for defeating him. Once you're in the Yokohama region you need to come to the Hiranuma Shinden area and you're wanting to come to this marker right over here. Once you come to this marker right over here you should be on the shore in this location where you'll see the ribbon trees indicating that the boss is quite close. Once you arrive at the marker, you should see that it will lead you to the entrance of the cave, as you can see right over here, and then you can go ahead and go through the cave. Once you head forward, you should see these barrels that you'll need to shoot either with your rifle or fire arrows, and once you get to the end, you should see the fugitive secret boss crying in the arena and then you can go ahead and take him out once you defeat the secret boss you can proceed through the cave to get the extra chest at the back and once you get to the back room you'll see that the chest is right here and you can go ahead and open up the chest now after defeating the fugitive secret boss you would have obtained quite a few unique pieces of equipment such as the eccentric black iron spear the stagehands cowl the stagehands garb the loyalist gloves and the black leather boots now those were all the secret bosses found in the yokohama region now i'm going to show you where all the edo secret bosses can be found starting with the blue eyed samurai and this is what the armor set looks like once you are in the second region of the game you want to come to the shiba area and when you are here you want to come to this location where i'm standing exactly once you're here in this location you'll see that there's going to be a tree with a ribbon on it 
and you'll see it's by the shore now what you want to do is go into this cave right over here and once you're in this cave there's going to be a barricade and you'll need to shoot the barrels in order to get through and once you start going through you'll slowly make your way into the cave where you will see the secret boss you can go ahead and then fight the boss and then you can go ahead and open up the chest at the back of the room for some extra rewards after defeating the blue eyed samurai you would have unlocked a full armor set and a weapon the weapon you would have unlocked is the Mikumo Mitsutada Katana. Now if we look at the armor, the set that you would have gotten is the Yasuke's helmet, the Yasuke's armor, the Yasuke's gauntlets and the Yasuke's knee pads. Now the next secret boss that I'm going to show you that can only be found in the Edo region is the Dazzling Devil and here is what his armor set looks like. Once you're in the Edo region, you need to go to the Kanda area where you'll have to come to this exact location where I'm standing. You will know that you're in the right location when you see these ribbons on the tree and a cave beneath. Now, once you see this, you must proceed through the cave until you come across the dazzling devil who is going to be drinking on sake sitting on his lounging chair. You can go ahead and defeat the dazzling devil. And when you head to the back of the room, you'll see that there will be a treasure chest for some extra rewards. Now, after defeating the Dazzling Devil, you would have obtained the Dawn Greatsword, the Kabuki's Actor's Helmet, the Kabuki Actor's Garb, the Kabuki Actor's Gauntlets, and the Kabuki Actor's Gator. Now, the next and the third secret boss of the Edo region is the Sword Wielding Philon. And this is what her armor set looks like. So what you want to do is come to the Senzoku region and come to this Veld Edge banner. And you are going to find the entrance to the secret boss at this marker right over here. So once you spawn at this Veld Edge banner, you should be in this tower. And as you can see, the marker is by the ribbon trees, which is a sign that the secret boss is near. And once you're up here, you want to fly all the way to the dock, as you can see ahead of me. Now once you get to the dock you want to run through the cave and you're going to see a pool of water which you need to swim down into. Once you swim down you can grapple to get a bit further into the water and then you want to swim up. Once you are on the other side of the cave you will see that the boss the sword wheeling felon will start attacking you. Now after you defeat the secret boss you can move to the back of the cave and you should see the chest and you can open it up for some extra rewards. So after defeating the boss, you would have unlocked the bestowed Uji Katana, the Dome Kasa, the Demon's Garb, the Hide Gauntlets, and the Spy's Gators. So now we move on to the third area being Kyoto, and the first secret boss that we are going to find is the Unarmed Adept, and here is what the arm set looks like. Once you are in the Kyoto region, you want to head over to the Karasuma area and come to this location that I have marked right here on the map. So once you're here, you can come to where I'm standing and you should see the ribbon trees indicating to us that the secret boss is near. So what you want to do is come to the water and you're going to swim down and you're going to proceed through the underwater cave until you get to the other side where you need to then swim up. Once you swim up, you can then grapple ahead and then you can proceed through the cave to where you'll find the secret boss sitting in the cave below. You can then go ahead and take out the unarmed adept. Once you have defeated the boss, you can head to the back of the cave where you'll see these barrels you'll need to shoot. And you then can proceed to go and get the chest for some extra bonus rewards. Now from the secret boss, the equipment you would have gotten is the old bamboo kasa, the aesthetic garb, the rough weather gauntlets and the used gator. Now the next boss that I'm going to show you that is in the Kyoto region is the bloodthirsty villain. And here is what his armor set looks like. Now, once you are in the third region of the game, you need to come to the Shirukawa area and you need to come to this location marked right over here. Once you are over here in this area, right next to where the landmark is, you should see the ribbon trees indicating to us that the secret boss is near. Now, once you get close to where this mark is, you should see a cave right here and you're going to follow along through into the cave. Once you make your way through the cave, you should see a whole bunch of hanging bodies and you're going to grapple up. You can then proceed through the pallets and go through the cave to where you'll find the secret boss waiting right over here. So you can then go ahead and take out the boss. Once you have defeated the boss, you can go to the back of the room and the treasure chest should be here and you can go ahead and open it up for some extra rewards. Now if we take a look at all the equipment we just obtained from the secret boss, 
we would have seen that we got the Immortus Oxtail Blade. And if we take a look at the armor, we got the Immigrant's Hat, the Immigrant's Garb, the Hide Gauntlets, and the King Style Shoes. So the third and final secret boss of the Kyoto region is going to be the Spiritual Ninja, and this is what his armor set looks like. Now once you have reached the third region of the game, you want to head over to the Higashiyama area right over here where I'm standing. Now the entrance to the secret boss in Higashiyama is going to be right here on this marker. Now in order to get here, you can either come to where I'm standing, or if you have this Veiled Edge banner, you can glide all the way here. But once you set your marker, you can go ahead and go to the location. So I'm at this road, and as you can see, I'm just coming through in between these buildings, and I'm jumping down here, and you'll see that the entrance to the cave is right here, and the ribbon trees are here, indicating that the secret boss is near. So once you're here, you should see the cave entrance and you can start heading through the cave. Once you're near the end of the cave, you should see the secret boss, the spiritual ninja sitting down and you can go ahead and take him out. Once you have defeated the boss, you can go to the corner of the room and you should see the treasure chest right over here and you can go ahead and open it up for some extra rewards. Once you have defeated the spiritual ninja, you should have unlocked the Leviathan Ujigatana, the Hayabusa headband, the head shinobi's garb, the Spies Gauntlets, and the Spies Gators. It's been Zach from the ConCon Con channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.